Hi, hello everyone. Hello YouTubers. And this is Mac and this is your cool pixel designs. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe my channel. And why you are subscribing this? I just describe every shortcut and no corners in there. Photoshop techniques and tips will be there. And moreover in the editing in Adobe Photoshop and Premiere Pro and more than in After Effects. So let's give me the credit by clicking like to my video and please hit the subscribe button to make the channel and today we have to look seen about a super plugin working with that in mac fun creative kit all the descriptions will be in the links below will be there so this is the main one of the awarded plugin it's the ultimate hdr solutions will be there so let's we have to begin it so this is the interface this one so just i open my stock images i have a good realistic one this is the original image of the very dark and uh, landscape photography will be there so when i pull it into a so it will ask me hdr image will be the made from this so this is the additional settings will be there you can turn on or off the aberration removal of the chromatic edges will be there so I can hit over into the create the HDR first thing. So once I create the HDR photograph, it will automatically processing your raw image into the HDR image will be there. So the next one is a bunch of options and everything will be there. Here you can see this. I just maybe in it's more over it's more 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 things will be there. So tone under the tone color structure. HDR denoise and the image radiance. Please stay with the video. I show the magical things by clicking the only one things up the here. So when you change the color tone corrections and everything will be there in the exposure contrast, such more the look adjustments in the same thing as in the Photoshop. You can kill your all the way. You can get the exposure levels will be there. But I do exposure in the plus 10 only i increase the shadows much more that is very cute and clear will be there so watch out these things so this is very cute whenever you just adjustment in any parameters that color will be changed into yellowish tones see such this all other ultimate will be there it remains in the white only then the color you can kill the temperature of this ones but I don't be like to work in these ones. So I just reference this panel only. Then you come back from here. You can hit the top and the bottom adjustments will be there. That is very cool adjustments will be there. You can get it in the three types of things. Eh? Top and the bottom and the orientations. You can hit the top exposure only. Like this or like this. Or the exposure of the bottom of the picture so it will analyze your 50 percentage of the halfway the picture that is very cool then the one more thing i just make the blend how much blend i need so this is the blend area you can hit and you can be shifted you can move you can move over to the top like this or the adjustments of the down area like these ones so i hit the exposure a little bit of an up then it comes here structure you can hit the HDR structure from, from like this. So when you hit the before and the after, you can see this is the before side and this is the after one. A cool, amazing, right? So this is the ones. Then bring it to the color of the exposure things. I bring back to the bluish. Wow. That's keep very much nice things. So when I hit it, this thing happenings so i love this plugins and everything it will give some more glow to your picture wow wow you are the details for the global details and the highlight details and the shadow details also will be there so this is the small and the large medium it distributes into the three types of things in the highlights i just increase the small highlights means you can see the water and the reflection of the clouds it makes the remain the same bluish colors and all the way you can make into some way of the masking also you can make masking by brushing 
into these things or everything. So like this, for the polarizing printer, I just make the polarizing. Wow, so the little breaking, mind blowing link will be there. So the color toning, you can hit the color toning, how much the colors, whatever the HSLs, hue, saturation and do the mode. You can hit the hue and the saturations will be the bluish, very much more bluish. And the hue colors, I can reduce the blue into some other colors, very light. Wow, that is it. In the hue luminance, I increase or decrease the bluish colors to the reflections of the, the match into the original picture. So these kind of all picture images and the editings will be coming around into the here. So you can adjustment the vignette. I like vignette with media. If any people like the vignette in your pictures and everything, please mention in the below. I give the high five to you. Thank you. So the feather of the sides and the inner lights, how much inner lights will be comes out and the light. Then the color tone curves, you can reach the tone of the curves. It's very much fluid. It is very good and it's very much cool lights will be there. So then the bluish, I decrease the blue to this much. So once you begin to work on this picture and say everything, it will comes around as super emojinomic pictures will become turned so like this the before and the after so this is the before and this is the after picture after to the editor so it is the cool editor without knowing about the knowledge and everything so thank you for watching this video and this is the plugin name aurora hdr 2017 is reviewed by cool pixel designs and this is your mac please keep subscribe on my channel and hit the like button to this make me comments when me there I reply to all the comments. Why? Because I valued your time and I valued you. Thank you. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.